Hey guys, this is Danny Boy. We are already on the Geth Dreadnought. I was just thinking, like, okay, cool, I get another video I get to commentate. I'm looking forward to that. It's good, I get to see something new and do some stuff and talk about stuff and whatever. And then I look, like, oh god, no, it's the Geth Dreadnought. Freaking hell, I hate the Geth Dreadnought. I don't want to have to sit through and talk about the Geth Dreadnought again. So it is the Geth Dreadnought. We'll be using Tally because we have to. I guess I'm using, or no, I'm, I'm giving them weapons, I bet. What did I use? Well, I missed it. I'm still trying the melee thing with Reeve for damage reduction and Tech Armor for damage reduction. I will be specking out of that pretty soon. I do change my bonus skill a million times in this playthrough. Took all my monies. I couldn't actually afford any of the... Spectre weapons because I spent all my money on respecting. I respect, respect a million times, pretty much. Very good idea to spec tally into sabotage. It's an incredibly powerful skill, and you, if you don't have the skill, I believe she is your only opportunity to use it, and it's really helpful, especially on all of the Geth missions. Very good idea. Oh yeah, I used the Karn effects. Bad idea. I don't know. Eh, it wasn't a bad idea. It's just, I... I'm not a great shot with the Karn effects. I also am using it unscoped. It doesn't have a lot of ammo. Though, I was able to use it as a primary. I didn't really run into ammo trouble that frequently. Roll. Roll. More rolling. But... I just... The current effects kind of bores me. It's just a high-powered pistol. And I totally understand if you love the current effects. A lot of players do. I just... I've talked about before, I prefer shotguns, fully automatic, high-powered weapons like the Revenant, and other stuff, but not, not the current effects. I love the Phalanx, which is kind of like the current effects. It just fires a lot faster. Hello, everybody. I'm going to punch you in the face. And the Phalanx is a lot more ammo, and it still does really good damage, so I prefer the Phalanx myself. Yes, the Geth Dreadnought always just takes forever. It doesn't even matter if you perform well, it just it takes forever. It's such a long mission. And hunters are really annoying. Geth hunters. But crazy that already on the Geth Dreadnought, already speeding along. This playthrough was so fast. Compared to my Vanguard, which took, I think, three weeks. Something like that. From start to finish. This took two days. Two freaking days. <laughs> start to finish. To get the gameplay. More than that, obviously, to to render and upload and work on everything. Though, possibly only five days when all said and done. Not totally sure. We'll see. Not actually done yet at the time of this video. So, th this room, you just need to stay away from the hunters. Don't let them close. You can see them before they close. You can see the blur. I am even now looking around, making sure that they're not coming up behind me. And I am being daring. Well, I was going to be daring and run in and melee him to death, but it appears I pushed out and instead decided to throw him on the floor and then melee him. James died, probably to a hunter. And somehow, my melee weapon is doing fire damage. And it doesn't normally do fire damage, so it would appear your melee attack, at least the Sentinel's melee attack, is taking on the properties of my... my ammo power, is all I can think. Either that, or just maybe he was shot at the exact moment I punched him. Which, you know, maybe that's what happened. Maybe somebody else shot him at that exact moment, so it seemed like he was lit on fire from my melee attack. But I've never seen that happen before. So if it happens again, then then it'll be interesting. 
which is strange because the engineer actually does have a fire component to their melee attack, and the infiltrator has an electricity component. And obviously the biotic classes, the pure biotic, or rather the adept and the, the, the vanguard have a biotic component, a knockdown sort of thing. Poor Sentinel, he doesn't get anything. Kind of disappointing, actually. I mean, his attack is interesting enough. It's this cross slash sort of thing. But no no tech component, no biotic component. He's more like a, a soldier's melee. You know, the soldier's is just a plain stab in the face sort of thing. But even his, I feel like, is gorier. I feel like there's more blood splatter for his. Whereas the Sentinel's, it's not, not really. Don't know. It would have been cool if it actually does take on the properties of whatever ammo power you're using, because that adds an interesting dynamic to his attack. Like, you could use... Well, I was going to say you could use cryo ammo, but there are no party members that have group cryo ammo yet. Maybe never. I kind of understand why, because cryo ammo is ridiculously good in this game. Just like cryo blast is ridiculously good. And it might be a little overpowered on certain classes. It's pretty overpowered on the classes that even have it. The Soldier and the Infiltrator. Watch the and the Vanguard, for that matter. Maybe it's not overpowered, but it's really good. Good stuff. I hate this room. I also hate missing repeatedly, because I suck. The thing about using the, uh, the Carnifex as well, against the Geth... Kind of problematic because they have really weirdly positioned heads, and their heads are just hard to hit. Especially when they turn. You know, their heads jut out from their bodies, so... In profile, they their heads aren't centered like a human's would be, you know, when they turn to the right or left. It juts out in front of them, so annoying that way. Very easy to miss headshots with, the, with these enemies, and the Carnifex is all about getting headshots. I probably should have used a scope, but again, I was trying the whole melee thing. I have a pistol stunner attached to it, and I think a damage mod, maybe. Or piercing mod, something. I did try experimenting with the piercing mods a bit more, and I just, I can't tell. It's... You can test their cover penetration stuff, but... Oh, my phone's ringing. Well, that was an interruption. All right. What was I talking about? Yes, the piercing mods. I I can't tell what they do for sure. It's just I don't know. It's so hard to notice. I would need tools, and I have no tools. I hate this room. They're under the floor or something. Eventually I'm going to flank left because I'm tired of waiting. This is such a slow room. This stupid place is so slow. And there's a hunter. I saw him coming. I saw you. There we go. Both of my party members are dead, apparently. Ow. Ow. For some reason, I just can't hit for crap with this Carnifex. Seriously. Finally. All right, what what can I talk about? I need to think about something to talk about because I am struggling at the moment. Usually when I can't think of something to talk about, I talk about other games. I could talk about other games. Well, again, with Diablo 3, as far as that goes, something to keep in mind, I do realize that Battle.net exists, and you can play with other people, and blah 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 blah. And I will be happy to play with you guys later, eventually. I have no problem with that, but when the game comes out, I will be soloing exclusively, because I need to go quickly. Quickly fast. Fast, fast, fast. 
and I can't afford to... I just can't afford the variables of other people. I need to go fast, I need to get things done. So, I will gladly play with other people, with you guys, eventually. No problem with that. But, for right now, I really can't. I'm not going to actually be able to play with my own friends, even, which sucks. It really does. But I'm going to out-level them so quickly that there's just no way. Because they will be sleeping, and I will not. This room also sucks, because of the high ground that they have. And here's something I wasn't expecting. Well, of course, his sabotage breaks immediately, but should happen in just a second. Since when is there a hunter up here? I never remember there being a hunter up here. That was actually really, really close. If I hadn't sabotaged him, I would have died. That would have pissed me off immensely would have made me cry tears. Tears of sadness. I feel like I could have chosen a better weapon for this area. You know what's a really good weapon to use in the Geth Dreadnought? Sniper rifles. Half the places are just huge, narrow corridors. Just lanes. They're just sniping lanes. Sniper rifle, and even the more closed off ones are pretty wide open. It's very easy to spot hunters before they actually approach you. And pick them off with sniper rifles. The main thing, though, is just everybody has shields. And that kind of sucks for snipers unless you have overload or, or something to get rid of those beforehand. Otherwise, you're wasting a lot of shot. At least, at least for the single shot. It's not such a big deal with the... With the multi-shot sniper rifles, the semi-automatics, but the bolt actions... Sucks to waste a round on a shield. I wonder how well disruptor ammo makes up for that. I'm guessing not much, because you still have to break through the shield before going to the red bar, which kinda sucks. Unless piercing mods change that, I don't know. Alright, so that's all done. We are now going to face the primes. And this is so long that I had to speed it up. Because this is... For all intents and purposes, just glorified Atlas mech fight. I mean, they're just primes. And they are bugged. I talked about this very briefly. They are bugged, in fact. The drones that they're supposed to... That they have, that they spit out constantly, that do absolutely nothing, are bugged. And they are supposed to not only flank you, but also shoot rockets at you. And they do neither. They just exist. So... That would make Atlas mechs far more of a threat and far more interesting, I think. I'm looking forward to when that is fixed. Unfortunately, they have already patched the game once. They didn't fix it last time. I don't think they made any effort to fix it, so kind of sucks. It's a pretty obvious bug. I mean, I've been talking about it ever since I first played the game on my engineer. Just I think that was a hunter that I just stabbed in the face. I'm not working, you know, just on my engineer, just wondering what they did and are they bugged and do they do something that I'm not aware of and whatever, but no, they're bugged. Also, I think I mentioned in my Vanguard playthrough that I wanted to explore this room a bit more. I believe it's a big circle, and if nothing else, I wanted to explore and see if there's a Geth Spitfire in the room. Unfortunately, I forget to do so. I just always, when I come here, immediately think, all right, same old, th uh, you know, same old, same old thing. Just blank left, slowly work your way towards him. I feel like there's probably a Geth Spitfire somewhere in here. Maybe there's not. Totally possible that there's not. If nothing else, though, I'd like to explore. I never try approaching it from this different angle, so hopefully I'll finally remember to do that on my Infiltrator. But I always forget. I have it written down now. It is now on paper. Maybe I'll remember. Just to keep things a bit more interesting. Considering that I am already completely disinterested in this, this is now my third time doing it. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I figured I probably should speed things up because... Similar to Atlas Max, things don't really change with Primes. At least with Primes, there's a bit more strategy involved. You have more options, and they always have support in the form of regular troopers, whereas that's a bit of a rarity for Atlas Max. You also often face them in groups of two or more. But then again, you also usually have a Spitfire to work with, and Spitfires make Primes really, really easy to, to kill and to deal with. Come here, come here, and die. There we go. So that's, that's one. 
We've taken down one. There's one more. That's why I'm speeding this up. If, there w if it was just one, I wouldn't care. But there are two. There are deuce, so... I care. This is just slow in general. Just trying to find him, trying to approach. And... I've done this fight many times. The key is just... Take your time, work your way around, kill the guys as they come, don't let yourself get flanked by hunters, especially if the Prime does have his sights on you. You can see the hunters with your radar, just pause the game, look in the bottom right corner. When I pause the game at random, I hey, I haven't talked about that in a while, I'm not just pausing at random, I am checking my radar. There's radar in the bottom right corner, I check that to see where enemies are, especially hunters because they're invisible. Now you can also see them, just physically see the blur before they approach, which I do. That's how I take them out before they close on me. Other than that, it's just using this high cover to prevent the primes from shooting me with rockets. It, it's very similar to an Atlas mech. Very similar. The big difference is they always have support. They can be sabotaged. Well, so can Atlas mech, so I guess that's the same. They spit out useless bugged drones, and they do also spit out turrets, which can be a little problematic if you're caught outside of cover, though not usually. And there is number two. Alright guys, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more, and have a good one.